peace and greetings and love and light to all those on the land of the physical transversing through the cosmic orders of the day. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I, I won't I want be one of them, them Dr. 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 Phil Valentine type niggas. The, the, inter, the introversal intellectual <laughs> interconnected vibrational rationale Say, has any, has everybody does it has everybody gotten to the flat earth talk or it has is it not as is it not as uh, mainstream as I, I think because I don't watch TV so I don't really know but when I heard B.O.B. B. got a got a fucking album about it basically and then um uh, I see I seen uh, what's the Neil Neil deGrasse Tyson <laughs> like like god damn like you know you don't think niggas could be as cool as niggas be these days but god damn but anyway so i you know he on a sway in the morning and if y'all watch that shit like like you ain't even necessarily got to look at none of the videos that proves it to see that they argument is weak as shit and i mean nasa <laughs> nasa's argument is weak as shit like hold on Ain't them the motherfuckers that gave us everything we know about space? And their argument is weak? Like, whoa, that don't make sense, man. Like, all you got to do is just go look at a picture of the Earth. Okay, I'll tell you what. You ain't even got to just go go watch the, go watch Neil deGrasse Tyson, right, on Sway in the Morning. He going to explain it away. And he going to say that the Earth isn't perfectly round. Now, understand, he basically NASA spoke spokesperson because they ain't really got nobody else to come up that you would listen to. But you would listen to this nigga because he a coon because he look like you. That's how they do us. Yeah, all right, y'all, you know, we need to understand that. They get a nigga, they, put, they tell a nigga to say something, you know, they give a nigga a script and he get on there and you believe it because as a black people, black people, black meaning the cosmic from the universe, we are one people. So we associate ourselves with each other. And that's another video I'm going to do, and it's going to be entitled Projected Ignorance, or The Projection of Emotion, in which inhabits and inhibits each and all of those. <laughs> I almost had it. <laughs> I was gone a minute. All right, so anyway, they get this nigga, okay, he going to say that the earth is not a perfect sphere. He going to say it's more of an egg shape. Okay, if that was the case, then... How come the fuck NASA been showing us this perfect spear all this time? If it ain't no big deal, and it's just that, oh, it's just a little egg shape, you know, a little plum shape or whatever, then why they ain't showed us the little egg shape picture, right? All right, look here, look here. You ain't got to believe this shit, right? Because at the end of the day, you really can't prove it until we fly up there and see the fucking earth, right? All right. Just go to uh, book uh, hotels.com or whoever the fuck books air flights, right? All right? You know, you can book a flight online like you actually want to go somewhere, right? Okay. Go book a flight from Peru, right? South America to Australia. Nigga, go book a flight from California, right, to Russia. Now, look at a globe, because we on a globe, right, a big ball. If you look at a globe, right, the Bering Straits, right? So that means that, damn, that, I just realized how that works. But anyway, I ain't even gonna get into it. The Bering Strait, right? So Russia is right next to, I mean, across the Pacific, from um, California, right? You remember a few years ago when Sarah Palin was like, "There, there are neighbors right, right over, right to the left or whatever," and everybody was like, "You stupid," you know, Russia's way on the other side of the world. But then, you, but then, if you looked at a globe, right? If you look at a globe, right? She's right, okay? Because a globe, right? California is right here on the west coast. If you go around, it's Russia right there in Europe, and then you come back. Nigga, book a flight from California to Russia, see how long it takes. And then just do the math. Book a flight from California to South America and see how long it takes. And do your fingers like this for how long it takes. 
and then you do your finger like this for how long, how far it is, right? <laughs> and, you know, I mean, I guess they could say that the scale isn't exact on the map or whatever. But when you see that shit take two days, you're going to say, hold on, that don't make sense. That don't take two days to fly across the ocean. Nah, it don't take two days to fly across the ocean. You know what I'm saying? But it do when you go, because because what it's going to do, it, fuck it, I'm going to say, I'm going to put it out. What it's going to do is take you from California to New York, then over to Asia from New York, and then to Russia from Asia. You see what I'm saying? And that's going from left to right. Or like if you're looking at a map, a regular map, it's, that's like going from left to right. But if this is a globe, then you should be able to go from right to left and you'll get there, you know, four times as faster. Like, goddamn, if the earth is spinning, when the plane go up, ain't that motherfucker gonna have to, you know, go twice as fast going east as it does going west? Or twice as fast going west as it does going east, being that the earth is spinning? Because it's off of the ground. So what? The air is spinning too. We ain't never thought about it. Look, don't think you dumb, man. Just ain't never thought about it. You ain't never thought about it. And then at the end of the day, you can't prove it. But your common sense tells you that, you understand what I'm saying? This this bitch is pretty flat. I mean, goddamn. It's, you know. But in Google, it's a book called 200 Reasons Why the Earth is Flat. Look, flat maybe, maybe not flat like flat. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like a piece of paper, but we talking a plane, we talking a terrain, man, yeah, because if it was just an egg shape, they would have showed you the picture of the egg, they would have showed you that, you know what I'm saying, even now with the with the proverbial egg on their faces, <laughs> they would have showed you the egg plant, and now saying, well, you know, we thought it was this, but now it's this, you know what I'm saying, if it was, if it was, if they were that close, if we were that close to accurate, right, with our round ball. Okay, and now, and here it is. Now, because I, I hit I hit a couple of brothers at work, right? And one of them came one of them came back and like, why would they lie about the about the earth being, you know what I'm saying, a ball or say bam. If you think, if you believe in the big bang theory that a big ass explosion from nothingness just blew the fuck up and then you got all these just particles just floating through space like <laughs> okay hold on just real quick all this shit exploded like so y'all have to understand that mean it was creating as it went so where like what was it what did it explode to it had to explode to nothing and then form the universe as the explosion right like does that make any sense think about it like what caused the explosion that's what that CERN thing is the super collider they're trying to find the moment before creation all right because if you go to the circle seven Quran the prophet noble Drew Ali will tell you that time never was when man was not so basically what they trying to do is get like a nigga you dig because I mean, do you, if you, fuck it, I ain't got time to explain this shit. Listen, man, look, all right, so the point was, what was the point? God damn. Oh, yeah, if, if it's a circle, if it's a ball, and you're just traveling through space, and if you involve from a monkey, then there's absolutely no divine plan within that archetype. This is, that means life is a chance. That means life is all by chance. That means, you know what I mean? Right now, best thing you need to do is worry about being successful. You know, go get a job and get a good, you know, car or whatever the fuck. You, you, you see what I'm saying? As opposed to if you on a flat earth, right? And according to the according to the mythologies and the ancients who knew way more about the solar system than fucking modern day Europeans, right? The center of the universe, the earth, the center of the universe, and the stars travel around you. Just think about this real quick. You can look up in the sky and see the Big Dipper every night. But in six months, if we travel around the sun, in six months, we should be on the other side of the sun. So we shouldn't be able to see all those same constellations. I mean, at the very least, we wouldn't see the ones that's behind the sun because the sun is so big, right? 
the sun is, you know, trillion, billion times bigger than the earth, right? That's what they say, huh? So we wouldn't be able to see, we wouldn't see, we wouldn't see the same constellations at night. And then people, people have done like, you know, where they, you know, they film the sky for the whole night and do the time thing. And, you know, you see the same constellations all year. As in, basically, we don't fucking move like that. We don't move like that. So anyway, if, if you know that you're on a flat earth in the center of the universe and that the sun travels around you, nigga, huh? That might make you feel a little bit more important than just some random ass germ, germ man mm, that, you know, formulated out of, out of a monkey. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It was a bacteria who turned into a fish and a fish turned into a lizard and the lizard decided to walk so he got up on the land and fucked a monkey and had a lizard monkey frog. <laughs> Y'all gotta watch South Park, man. That shit's hilarious. You know what I'm saying? If you, you know, then you... Okay, basically, long story short, man. Look it up, nigga. They gonna tell you that it's a mountain, you know, the, the big mountain, Mount Olympus, is in the center of the universe. And, and the name for Mount Olympus in, um, I think it was Hindu or Indian or some shit, was Mount Maru, nigga. Maru. What? And you a what? A, a Moorish, a Moor, a M, M O O R, M U U R, and it's M U R E? That's the same goddamn word. It looked like all they did was switch a R and an E, right? What, nigga? That means you as a moor are the center of the universe? Well, no wonder they didn't tell your ass the truth, huh? Get it? Peace.